Ron Paul is not going to be your next president. Ron Paul is not going to be your next president. So why are millions of young people hanging on every word from a 76-year-old Texas congressman? I think the federal war on drugs is a total failure. I think the federal war on drugs is a total failure. Ahmadinejad has made it quite clear he believes in wiping out Israel if he got no, the chance. No. Okay, if, I, if you were president in the, in the Second World War and you'd been given knowledge the Japanese were planning Pearl Harbor, you would have preemptively struck, wouldn't you? Well, let, let me touch your first subject first, and that is uh, quoting Ahmadinejad, because that's a, that's a misquote, but 99% of the people in the media would misquote it, and everybody in Washington believes it. Uh, what, what he actually said on the proper interpretation was that the regime in charge of Jerusalem uh, should be removed from the pages of time. He did not say that Israel should be wiped from the face of the earth. Just think of the difference in that, removing a regime like getting rid of our administration or something. You're not seriously defending Ahmadinejad, eh? You're not seriously defending Ahmadinejad, eh? I'm trying to defend honesty, and I'm trying to defend openness and willing to, uh, willing to stop a war just to see him as a threat. Please, please let me finish my sentence. Just like John Kennedy was able to talk to Khrushchev. If we can talk to Khrushchev and he had 30,000 missiles, why can't we talk to a country that doesn't have a nuclear missile and they are not, but according to the record, they're not on the, the verge of it either. On this is a lot of Americans who, you know, may like, they may like you personally or whatever, but they think you're weak on this because of the preemptive issue. And I come back to that question I put to you. If you had knowledge and you were president when Pearl Harbor happened, if you had pre-knowledge of that happening, would you have attacked Yeah, Japan? an imminent attack. We're seeing, we're seeing the planes come over, obviously, yes. An imminent attack. Well, I mean intelligence. An imminent attack. Intelligence, it may happen. An imminent attack is quite different when the planes are coming versus this uh, fiction. Just, we shouldn't have such short memories. Everything they're saying about Iran, we said about Iraq, and they were all lies. And how many men died? 8,500 Americans died. 44,000 no, come totally back crippled. I agree with you about so, Iraq. Well, I, but it's the same principle. I, as a newspaper editor, deal with it in the principle. As a newspaper editor back in Britain, I opposed the war in Iraq vigorously and loudly for two years. You should oppose us going into Iran. I, I think Iran is a different situation. Why? Because I think that they would, if they could, consider attacking Israel. Well, I I, and if you're America. You can't let that happen. And the Israelis are looking to why America for not, leadership, aren't they? Why shouldn't they depend on the British? Why doesn't the British take care of them? They used to have, they have a lot of influence up there. Let all the British kids go over there and die. I mean, why, why, why is it assumed that we are the policemen of the world, that it's our moral obligation? Besides, we're broke. But aren't there times when you have to be the policeman of the world? No. Really? It is not. We provide for our national security. We, are, we do not have the authority. We do not have the money. And, and we, we don't have the moral authority to do this because it leads to trouble. Let's take a break. Come back and talk social issues. I want to talk to you about marriage, gay marriage, abortion. See what you really think.